आई राम स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन टू द लास्ट रिविजन सेशन ऑफ लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री इन्फेक्शियस डिजीजेज एंड हाउ टू प्रिवेंट दैम ओके वॉच दिस सेशन टिल द एंड बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अगेन द पैटर्न पेपर पैटर्न विच इज गोइंग टू बी देर फॉर योर सेमिस्टर एग्जाम ओके सो लेट्स रिकॉल वंस अगेन वॉट वी हैव लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर so in this chapter students if you remember that we have learned about how exactly the water borne diseases food borne diseases and mosquito borne diseases are spreaded okay and again we have learned that what do you exactly mean by the epidemic of an disease so what do you exactly mean by the epidemic of disease when many people in one area get the same infectious disease at the same time we call it as what epidemic of the disease is that clear so what are the example of the epidemic disease so as you can see that flu conjunctivitis cholera malaria covid 19 right now it is called as a pandemic disease because whole world is affected because of that so these are the example of what epidemic disease okay so students always remember that the cloth and the utensil used by the patient are washed with the germicide always you have to be very careful because all these contagious diseases they are rapidly spreaded from one person to the another person if we use the cloth and the utensils of the patient with us then there are the chances that we might also get the disease so that's why you must have seen that the spittle of a person who has a tuberculosis it is collected in a vessel and that vessel it is covered with the germicide and that germicide it is called as what phenyl because the reason is that if we collect the spittle like that only then there are the chances that the germs from the tuberculosis they will immediately spread into the air and those germs might enter into the healthy patient's body and that healthy patient will also get the disease so we don't want that thing to happen such precautions help to prevent the diseases from spreading to the others see students in science it is a crime that we are spreading our disease to the others so that's why we have to be very careful while handling ourselves whenever if we are in the ill condition so that's why whenever there is a contagious disease we have to be away from the healthy people so that they will they will remain healthy and they shouldn't get our disease okay so these are the basic precaution which we have to undertake in our daily life so right now also student always remember that to prevent the spread of the diseases through the air the people should cover their mouth during sneezing and coughing and we have to avoid spitting in the open space right now also because of the covid 19 we all are using mask whenever we are stepping out of the home so right now also student please i request you that don't spit here and there because even this covid 19 virus it is present in the spittle it is attacking on the respiratory tract so if you spit here and there and if you don't use handkerchief during sneezing activity or during coughing activity then the germs might enter outside so that's why to avoid the spread of the diseases through the air we have to take basic precautions and in the basic precaution always remember that it is necessary for the patient to wear the mask not only the patient if you are going near to the patient to meet that then you also have to use the mask properly you have to cover your mouth properly so that you won't get the infection of that patient so these are the basic precaution which we have to follow in our daily life okay and students always remember that uh, you must have seen that in uh, our area wherever the drinking water is supplied to our area so in villages also the bleaching powder has been added to the community water sources why bleaching powder is added because the bleaching powder kills the germs and it makes the water safe for drinking so during a rainy season also we get water from the tmc the water smells typical in smell right so the typical smell of the water which we usually get during rainy season that is because of the bleaching powder because during rainy season water already already gets contaminated and to avoid the spread of the disease the bleaching powder has been added and one more thing if suppose if suppose even if you see that the water is very clear that doesn't mean that the water is clear might be germs might be there so always remember that we have to boil the water before drinking at least we have to boil the water for 10 to 15 minutes at a low flame so that whatever germs are present in the water they will be killed very immediately so we have to boil the water thoroughly and again at the same time to prevent the mosquito borne diseases like malaria and dengue etc we must ensure that there is no stagnant water in our surrounding if the water is stagnant over there then there are the chances that the mosquito will breed and they will cause the infection 
so that's why if it is not possible then we can use the insecticide and the diseases like malaria and the dengue they can be prevented so these are the basic measures which we all follow at our home as well right so that's why if someone in the family gets an infectious disease the government health department should be informed so that the necessary steps for preventing the spread of the diseases can be taken so right now also you must have seen that if in family anybody is detected with the covid 19 the tmc people calls you and they ask you for the quarantine why they ask you for quarantine so that if the person gets quarantine at least the other family member they will be saved from getting the infection so we should cooperate with our government body so that we also won't get the infection so these are the basic things which we have to understand and right now all scientists are uh, searching for the vaccine for the covid 19 right so exactly in the same manner we all we, we all are taking the vaccine so as soon as we took birth okay so what do you exactly mean by the vaccine and what do you mean by the vaccination basically so the vaccination is a way to prevent the disease any disease we can prevent by using the vaccination our body develops the resistance to the particular disease if we are vaccinated against that particular disease causing germ okay so that's why student the vaccine is very important a vaccine is nothing but what it is inactivated form of bacteria or virus so that inactivated bacteria or virus it is injected into the person's body so that the body will activate the immune system against that particular pathogen so in future if that live germ enters in our body then our immune system will kill that virus and the bacteria immediately without developing any symptom so that's why you must have heard that the soon after when baby is born baby is given tuberculosis vaccine when the baby is 1 and 1/2 month old she is given the vaccination against diphtheria whooping cough tetanus and polio remember that the bcg vaccine it is a combination of all these three okay the bcg vaccine it is also called as what triple vaccine and mostly you must have seen that uh, in each month on one sunday the children are given polio vaccine that too orally so the polio vaccine it is given orally so in family if any child is there at least till 5 year everybody should be vaccinated properly if you miss the vaccine at one time no issue you should be able to take the vaccine in the next month as soon as it is possible if you miss the vaccine then there are the chances that your immunity will get weakened and you might get the different different type of the infection so that's why taking vaccination is very very important and again people are also educated about the right method of handling drinking water and the food they are also uh, urged to maintain the cleanliness in the surrounding via different different type of the social media mass media okay so social media and government body they are working really very hard to educate the people regarding the basic hygiene purpose so all these things we have to keep it in our mind and always remember student over here cleanliness is a ba- cleanliness a balanced diet and the vaccination i repeat once again cleanliness balanced diet and vaccination are essential for the prevention of any type of the infectious disease okay so here we completed the revision part of all the four lesson which are there for your semester examination so i hope so students you must have understood everything in detail already okay so right now i am going to discuss about the semester paper pattern which is going to be there for your exam okay so students listen carefully as you already gave your unit test exam in the same manner the semester exam is also going to be there you don't have to type anything everything will be there you will be provided with the option you have to just click on the right option that's it so what type of the questions are going to be there for your examination so filling the blanks will be there choose true or false will be there match the following will be there answer in one sentence is going to be there name the following and again as the, you can see that over here observe the diagram and answer the following questions so these are the questions which are going to be there for your examination observe the diagram in sort will be provided with you one diagram you have to observe that diagram and based upon that you have to answer you will be again provided with the three option you have to just select on the right option even for answer in one sentence also we will give you option and out of the uh, those option you have to select the right one i'll show you demo what kind of questions we are going to ask you here see for example if i ask you name the following or filling the blanks they are kind of they are going to be like this suppose if i ask you 
which of the following is not a micronutrient so there will be three options like this a b c a carbohydrate b vitamin and c protein okay i ask you micronutrient which is not a micronutrient so carbohydrate and protein they are they are what uh, they are my, uh, micronutrient am i right so as you can see that over here uh, so carbohydrate and protein as you can see that they are the macronutrient and vitamin is what uh, uh, vitamin over here it is a micronutrient so you have to click on the right option is that clear so as you can see that again suppose if i ask you what is an infectious disease what is an infectious disease so such kind of answer in one sentence are going to be there so in answer in one sentence as you can see that you don't have to type anything even for answer in one sentence we are going to provide you three option like this option a option b and option c so c suppose if i say that what is an infectious disease now you have to identify which is a right definition the disease which is not spread from one person to the another person is called as an infectious disease the disease which is spread from one person to the another person is called as infectious disease the microorganism which is not spreaded from one person to the another person is called as infectious disease so what you feel which option is going to be right among the three option b is right okay so as option b is right you will have to click on the b option is that clear so i hope so students i am clear with the paper pattern also okay so wish you a very all the best for your semester examination do well bye bye take care